Okay, today we're going to be playing with turtles. And under 913, I put a link to some popular turtle methods. So if you click on that, it'll bring you to this page of some of the different methods to go with turtles. And we're going to use them. Now, the way I found that was I literally went in here and I typed in Python turtle T U R T methods. And it was one of the first examples. But I mean, there's so much out here. This is just an easy one. They're all in one area. So I put a link for it right there under 913. That way it'll help you potentially find what the link I'm using. Okay. Now, for today, oh, I need to open up your Who's my Let's see here real quick. Let me pause this just for one second. All right. So you're going to submit today's thing we write down at the bottom in the homework section as Leo the Turtle. Okay? So why is it called Leo the Turtle? Anybody know? That's where I think it came. Again, I didn't make these names, but I was talking to Jeff yesterday about his whole tribbles, and he's like, well, I hope there are some Star Trek fans up there. <laughs> he's like, you can just, no, I like it. I like Star Trek, so. We need to bring up Python here, so I'm going to bring up Idle. Now, there are a lot of other Python editors. There's PyCharm. There's a bunch of different ones. I prefer Idle because it comes with it. You don't have to worry about installing anything. It's just there. Okay? Now, we are going to work with Turtle. So, we're going to make a new script. Let's say File, New File. And I'm going to call mine. I'm going to save it. I'm going to do save. I'm going to save it on my desktop so I can find it. Whenever you say, actually, let me cancel that save, but whenever you save a file, I don't care if it's in Python, I don't care if it's in Word, I don't care if you're on the Internet. Whenever you save something, they always try to save it in weird places. Yeah. Find out where you're saving the darn files at. It will save you so much heartache later on. So, okay, I'm going to save it on my desktop in this folder, and I'm going to call it Leo. Done. Now we know where it's at. Because yeah, even me sometimes when I don't watch what I'm doing, a prime example is like when I create something in Word and convert it to a PDF, it puts it all over the darn place. So if I'm not watching it, sometimes it ends up in some funky directory and it's like, what the heck? So it drives me crazy. Alright, so let's play with Python Turtle. Okay. I'm going to close out my Python shell because I actually don't need that at the moment. I'm just going to use my this editor where I did new file. Now inside here, we're going to say import turtle. Now import turn orange. Why did it turn orange? It's a keyword. Exactly. It's built in the Python. If I was trying to name a variable, maybe I'm going to make a program for cars. And I would have imports. Bad idea to call it import because you can't. Now I could call it imports, but just not import. Okay, so I'm going to import turtle. What this statement is, is telling Python to go out, get the predefined class or functions of turtle. It's built into Python. It ships with it. It just doesn't load it automatically. So we're telling it to bring it into our program. Okay. Um, all, all, not all, okay. Uh, as far as I know, all languages have some sort of import function, okay? It's like in C, you can use C and C out. Well, that's built into C. It's you know something that someone wrote to add to it. Well, Turtle was written to add to Python. It's just not automatically brought into your code. So we're going to import Turtle. Now I'm going to run it to make sure it works. I'm going to hit F5 or save. Some of you, F5 doesn't work. There it goes. Did it work? Anybody? I don't know. Did it say it didn't work? No. So it did work. All we did was we brought in Turtle. We didn't do anything with it, so we're doing good. Okay? Yeah, unless you get an error like fatal, whatever, assume it works. Again, I like running things very frequently. Now we're going to give him a name. Our Turtle is going to be called Leo. Leo equals Turtle dot turtle 
well, what the heck does that mean? Okay. Let me explain. First of all, Leo is going to be the variable or the object we're going to use. From now on, we're going to use Leo. Okay. We're making a new turtle. We're going to call him Leo. Well, what is Leo? Leo is a turtle. You notice the matching case here because we imported turtle with a lowercase t. So Leo is equal to a turtle, so we brought in a turtle. Now this big part, that's what's called a constructor, or basically it's, it, it just makes a turtle, okay? So Leo is equal to a turtle of the turtle class. Sounds kind of confusing, but it's like in Java, I'm going to create an integer and I'm going to say new int. Where I told you int, same thing. I'm making an integer and that integer is going to be equal to a new integer. While making a turtle, it's going to be equal to a new turtle. It's the same thing. It's just, you have to do it, okay? Now, if I run this one, I should really get nothing. Except, okay, this time I get a window, because now I have a turtle. But I'm not doing anything yet. It's not outputting anything. But you should get this little thingy on the screen, okay? Close that out. All right. Now. The turtle, as I showed you in this part here, right wherever it is, there, there's a lot of stuff we can do with our turtle, okay? So like the turtle, the capital T, let me zoom in on this page. So those of you in the cheap seats can actually see this. Turtle takes no parameters, which means our code right here has nothing inside these parentheses takes no parameters. Sometimes they're known as arguments. Sometimes it's known as a variable. It takes no parameters. And what does turtle do? Well, it creates and returns a new turtle object. It says, okay, we got a new turtle. Can't do anything yet. It's kind of like you're going to buy this new Apple Watch. I ordered my watch. So now they have a uh, watch reserved for Ken Dewey, but it hasn't shipped yet. It hasn't been activated yet. It hasn't done nothing. We just have a new watch reserved. Now we have a new turtle reserved, okay? So, what else are we going to do with our turtle? Okay, so we're going to go back here. So we have our new turtle. Another thing we can do with our turtle, again, not, this does not all have to be in the same order. I'm trying to make it so I can see multiple things on the screen, and it's not going so perfectly. Yeah, I have three in my office, though. So. Okay. They're not all on here, seriously? Okay, this is not all of them. There's more than... I thought this was a pretty comprehensive list. Maybe down here? Okay, well, we're going to add a couple that's not on there. We want Leo to go pretty quickly. So we're going to say Leo.speed. Speed happens to be a method built into Turtle. So I type Leo speed. The moment I put the first parenthesis, it tells me this is speed. I, it can, it's equal to nothing, but it returns or sets the speed. So I can figure out how fast he's going, or I can tell you how fast to make him go. In this case, we're going to make him go five. Okay? So if I run it again, we still don't have my box. We haven't told them to do anything. We have a turtle, and he's going to go medium speed. Okay? So far, so good. Everybody with me? Turtle's pretty simple so far. All right, what else can we do with him? We can give him a shape. And we're going to give him the shape of a turtle. Isn't that handy? Now if we run him. Whoa, now he's actually a turtle. Remember a minute ago he was an arrow? Did you all catch that a minute ago he was an arrow? So you can make them shape differently. You can make them different things. I don't know if they have shape listed here. They should. Shape. Why don't they have? I thought this was a good list. Well, this list is missing a lot. Right or put on the other oh, Okay. So. All right. So, so far we have, we set, we got a new turtle. We gave them a speed of five. And we gave him a shape. Okay. Now we're going to create a window for this turtle. Win equals turtle dot screen. Actually, I don't know if we have to do this, but we are actually it's a capital S. 
Steven, she remembered your name perfectly. I didn't. Bruce. <laughs> it's easy to remember. <laughs> All right. So, again, I don't know. Let's, let's just leave that turtle in there for the moment, the, the, the actual window. I'll call you Caitlin. <laughs> this guy, I'm wondering, waiting for someone to get out of the He kept calling her Bruce. That's very offensive. I'm an offensive guy anyway, so it's okay. Okay. Now, let's set his color. Leo.color and everything green good? No, it does not. Most things are not. Okay. So if I get him, now I should have a green turtle. And I do. I got a green turtle going there. Y'all see my Leo? Everybody got a green Leo? He should be green. It's, he's a turtle. it's not. Let me see what you got going. Okay, I was. Do you have a question? Yeah. Okay, let me pause my recording here real quick to fix these questions. All right, let's continue. Sorry, yes. It's got to be a path issue, is all I could think of. All right, so we got his color to green. Now, with him, we can actually make boxes and fill them. To do that, we need to tell him where our box is going to start. Leo.begin underscore fill okay now what begin underscore fill does let's go back here I know it has that one in here I saw it begin fill says remembers the starting point for a filled polygon so it's going to remember where it started so after we get done here so I'm going to run him again see what I get still nothing hasn't done anything but at least we know he's alive. He's not crashing on me. All right, so we got our begin fill. Now we're going to tell him to move forward. Let's go forward 100. Now this is the first time our turtle should actually move. So if I tell him to move forward, there you go. He moved forward. He was fast. Yeah, he's a fast turtle. He's more like a rabbit. All right, so if we're drawing a box, we just went forward. What do you think we should do now? Down or up? Let's go up. I think, now, remember, we're drawing this way. If I want to go up, what do I tell it? Turn left. Turn left. Right. Turn left. How much? 90. So now if I run Leo again, now he's turned out. You know what? He is very fast. I can't see him moving. I'm going to take my speed to one. Let's see if we can make him a little. There it is. Change your speed to one. See if you can watch your turtle now. <laughs> yeah, I think anything above 10, and it's just 10. So if you put in like, you know, 10, 100, whatever. It's the same as 10. <laughs> All right, so let's just leave our turtles at 1 so we can see what the heck he's doing, okay? All right, so we got left 90. So our turtle went over, turned left. Now we need to go up. Let's go up 100 again. So how are we going to go up? Forward. Forward. Okay. So now our turtle should go this way, take a right, and go up. So what do we need again? Okay, I want you guys to figure, get them to get all the way back to the beginning correctly. Okay. Yeah, I want, a, I want a square.
Dang. Got it? No. Let me pause for one second here. All right, we figured out the problem people were having. You can't call it turtle. The reason is we are importing turtle. And if you call your file the same name as something you're importing, the moment you save it, it tries to import from yourself. It always checks the current directory first. So now we name it Leo and it works fine. So yes, call your files Leo or something else. I, Donatello or I said Leo Turtle. That's, that's perfect. Okay. As long as it's not just Turtle. Okay. okay. Well I'm glad we figured that out. That was Have you seen how many colors there are? There's a lot. There's lots. And you can make them change randomly and all that stuff. So, okay. So, do we all have the same? Yes. Everybody got that? Except for the two that might uh, be a hair bit behind. Now, we need to make him fill it. So, how do you think we could possibly tell him to end filling it? And fill. Boom, done. Look at that. Isn't that genius? <laughs> so far, so good? <laughs> and underscore uh, fill? With a two, I forgot the parentheses. Uh, 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 yes, you need parentheses. Okay. So there we go. We have our first square made by Leo. Now we're going to do a triangle. Let's do Leo dot color. This time we want red. Can't be 30. 120. Remember, it's got to add up to 360. 80, you'd have like this funky... 27-sided something. 27 -sided. I don't know what you'd end up with. You'd have whatever 360 divided by 80. That's what your thing would be. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. And if I run it again, now he should be green. And then he should change the red. Look at that. All right. Now we're going to begin filming again. Okay, so let's move forward. Let's go 100 again. Actually, we're going to do 80. It's just to see what we end up with. So you know what? I need this three times. I'm not going to type it three times. I'm going to copy and paste it three times. See what we get so far. We got our square. I don't know what we're getting here. <laughs> it's a, what's that called? Trapezoid. Okay, we at least need one more 80, don't we? So, I don't know what the heck we're going to need, but that's not going to equal three. <laughs> yeah. It still won't be quite right. Okay, let's try it one more time. Natalie says one more time. I have a feeling he's going to like overlap himself here or something. It's okay. He's just a little slow. It's okay. Then we're going to. And we're going to end this fill. Let's end this fill. See what he does. What if yours doesn't work? Fix it. Hold on a minute. Let me go see what Caitlin's been like. Bruce. Okay. Now let's see what happens if I fill him. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre-ish. 
All right, we don't like it. We're going to fix it. So we need it to be 120. And we're going to get rid of this other stuff. <coughs> Beautiful. Isn't that awesome? So far so good? Everybody got their guy? Did I really need this right hand one afterwards? No. But we're going to leave it anyway. See, I happen to have the instructions how to make them work already. So I'm cheating. There's something we haven't. Actually, my turtle's going too slow. I'm going to. What do you all set your turtles to? I set it to three. three, I set it to three. Let's see what three does. I got mine all set. Oh, yeah. Love him. Love him. All right. So we got a three. So now. There's a command we haven't used yet. Leo.set x. Set. Whoops. <laughs> Darn it. You caught me. Leo.set y. So what this is going to do is move Leo. Okay. Wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, did I not end my fill? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I put my code in there before. Okay, I don't like that line. Does anyone have a clue how I could get that line up? Uh, you could type in drop pen, so that way it stops writing. Isn't it, is it a drop pen or a raise pen? It's pen up, isn't it? Pen up picks up the pen, then we're going to have to put it back down. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to tell him Leo.pen up. And then down here, Leo. Leo. Got to fix him up to up top, don't I? Leo.pen down. But why didn't he move? Darn typos. Daniel, I compile all the time or run all the time. There we go. Yeah. Everybody with me? No. Okay. So that's where we finished the triangle. Now we moved him. So now we're moved to new location. So we know what the heck we're doing. Over here, I'm going to say draw triangle on the top is draw a square. All right. So now let's change them to black. So now Leo should become black. Yep, he is. Very nice. Now let's draw a circle. Let's just draw a circle of 50. The radius of 50. Y'all got radius of 50 going? You know what? I want that circle filled in. Anybody? How could we fill it in? Begin fill. What did you say back there? Oh. Begin, fill, and end fill. Boom, look at that. Love it. Okay, so my circles overlapping. Did you tell it to go 150 to 150? Yes. Hmm. 
Okay. See, so if it overlaps, that's totally fine. Now let's clear them out. Win dot clear. Now let's change the background color. Win dot b g color silver. Now let's draw another circle. See what we get. Hmm. What happened? That is a very good question, actually, because I don't know what happened at this moment. So we cleared it. We set the background color to silver. Let's just try blue. Just be safe. I'm just see what it does. <laughs> so why isn't that showing? So we set the background. We cleared it. We set the background. We shouldn't have to put the turtle back on there. Let's Me. Yeah, we should. Well, let me try just putting them back down there in red, see what happens. Oh, there it is. So his color got set to the background color. That's weird. It shouldn't have done that. So BG color sets the turtle background color as well. Okay, I didn't expect that. That's an unexpected output. So let's say Python turtle BG color. Turtle grass. Is there a way to set the background color for par? Okay. How to change the background color. Yeah, we know how to change it, but I don't want to set BG color to black. Or BG color black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my second title. Well, that's a stupid answer. Let me look at the actual Java docs. Okay, I'm going to see what BG color actually does. BG color, a color string of three numbers range of zero or, or the number. Okay. Okay, I guess it sets the whole thing. That's just weird. Okay. Not a big deal. Okay. I'm going to remove my background color thing just so we don't have to mess with that. So I'm going to remove, actually, I'm going to comment this section out. That's weird. That's an unintended function. Okay, now we want to figure out, you know how uh, Natalie up here told us to use 80? <laughs> Probably was not a good choice. But what if we went sides equals 6, we're making a variable to hold 6 sides. Now we're going to say while... Uh, hold on, I need to get my angle first, sorry. Angle equals 360 divided by sides. Yeah, we got to get our angles first. Then, so S equals 0. You'll see what that's for in a second. While S is less than sides, because we want six sides. You notice how it auto indents for me. Leo... FD for forward will also work, by the way. Then Leo dot right. We're going to see what all this does here in a second. S equals S. It automatically tabbed over. If you put the colon at the end of while, it should have automatically done it. Okay. I haven't run mine yet. X calling me. I can't talk to you right now. 
So, anybody's do anything? I haven't it ran mine yet. Let's see what it does. Got my triangle, got my first circle. Then he just span, spun. Yeah, he just kind of spun in the circle. Okay, so what do you think we need to do? In the y Change his location. Mm, we could, but there's something else we need to do. I'm assuming he did draw something there. Triangle. Six sides, or whatever you call that. Made that little bump on it. It just made a little bump on my circle. Well, that's kind of what ours did, too. Okay, let's read this, see what we got. Change color. Do you see that little bump on we, side? we could change our color. Okay, let's change our color to red so we know that now he's red. Y'all hear what he just said? What'd you say? Forward's too small. He's moving one pixel. That's what made that and then turning one pixel. Then one pixel. So he's literally not has a move. So why don't we move it? What? Let's just try 10. Is that looking better? Yeah. Y'all at least get uh, whatever the heck a six sided thing is called. But now let's change it to 100. Did you pen up or something? Okay, I want that thing to be filled in. But I also want him to be up here. Okay, so here's what we need to do. I want my I want that shape over here and I want it filled in. You gotta pen up. That's what you're doing. All right, so we need to, I want him up here, and I don't want a line between it. I want it filled in. Can y'all do that? Give you eight seconds. Seven. Six. Five. So I want this shape filled in in blue, and I want it up here. This somewhere up here. So how are we going to do this? Can we make it blue, first of all? Yeah. Think so? Let's, let's, let's shoot one thing at a time. How are we going to do blue? Change the color from red to blue. All right. Red to blue. And... Boom. Okay. It's not filled in yet. How are we going to fill them in? So why not right here? I'm going to go Leo dot start fill. No, not start fill. No, not end fill. Uh, Begin. How am I going to end it? Make sure you are not indented when you do this. Because if you're indented under the while, it'll end the fill every time it turns. You got something going on there? Let me see what you got. I totally forgot to resume the recording. Whoops. Well, we're here now. Well, they got most of it. But okay. So now we're doing a pen up and we're gonna go to zero for X in range three hundred and do Leo dot not Leo. Stamp. Let's see what this does. Leo dot forward forward fifteen plus X. That's not a five fifteen. Plus X. Leo dot left fifteen. See what we get now. I bet we get not a darn thing. Oh, it did. Oh, okay. Nice. It did get spot grab. Okay. Yes. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I love it. I'm so 
Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Are we cloning right now? Is this illegal? Isn't that awesome? I'm going to make him a different color. All right. So here's what you're going to submit for today. I like my color list. I want to see your final picture. So take a, you know, y'all know stipping tool or in Mac, it's like control shift F R you know, this 87 keys and then a four. Does it have to be the same color? No. Okay. As long as it looks color. something like mine. Okay. Do y'all know how to take screenshots in Mac? Yeah. It's I shift, really control, do. then four, then you just highlight the area. This yes. One more time. Yeah, that's fine. Background colors are fine. I just want to see a picture that has a square, a triangle, a circle, a six-sided thing, and a star. What's the last line you should put? How do you do the screenshot? I'm ready to submit cream. Man, I'm just going to write it. Shift. Shift. I don't like the yellow. Medium screen. Shift. Yours will be shift, command, four. I'm going to look at this. I keep on the card. I'm going to delete my sources and I'm going to just kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. yeah, the colors don't have to be exact as mine. Shapes. So 
does anybody like this more than Natalie? I don't know. She seemed to be pretty liking this over here. I don't know. I don't know. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I was to make my window bigger, it sh yeah, it is bigger than my window. So, so technically, he never stops surfing you. Right. Yeah. No, he would go 300 times. What the way this reads, starting it, you know, for zero in range, and since we didn't define x, x is zero, so for zero up to 300, stamp him, move him forward 15 plus zero, okay? Then go left 15 degrees, stamp him again, go forward 15 plus one, turn left 15 degrees, then 15 plus two, so he's doing that thing getting bigger and bigger. But once it equals 300, he'll stop. It's like I could have taken this down to like uh, 30. And once we do everything else, he stops. OK? What are other shapes, like when you made him a turtle? Like oh, you can put a uh, skull. What? Yeah. Skull used to work. Hold on. Python. Turtle. Doesn't like skull anymore. Skull bones. No, that's not what we want. <coughs> Python turtle shapes. Python well, some graphics. Intricate shapes and pictures can be easily drawn. We know that. Shape size. Okay, you get arrow, turtle, circle, square, triangle, classic, or you can add your own graphics. You can also register a different shape. You'd have to make them yourself, I guess. I thought there was a, there used to be a skull in here. I don't know. Sorry, that's what you get. Okay, on the conversions, the three conversions. Yes. You're saying that the conversions are not correct. So are you saying not to use the, the numbers that are on here? Don't use those numbers that are on there. In other words, when yours run, it should not produce those exact same numbers. Those are just random numbers we put in there. So, like an example, how many bars of gold press and platinum do you have? It says three. And then that will buy you 56, 53. Uh, is, is what, what, I tell you what the conversion factor is in there, don't I? I'm going to say one bar is equal to something. I don't like how turtles are. Let me say that. So that's trebles. We're going to you were just talking about. Like, oh, how many bars do we have? Oh, okay. We're buying trebles. Okay. Uh, so the triple costs 10. So you need 20,000 fans. One bar of gold is worth 20,000 credits. So if you have three bar, you have 60,000 credits. And triples are 10 credits each, so you'd have to do 60,000 divided by 10 to figure out how many triples. Okay. See? Okay. All right. All right. So I want the picture, in other words, a graphics file of that. Everybody okay on that? I don't want the PY code. I mean, you can keep it and play with it. I mean, it's kind of a cool thing to play with. Alright, then you guys are free to go.